We've been reporting about a widespread scam by bank imposters who trick their victims into sending them money through Zelle, that popular quick pay app owned by major banks. Now two U.S. senators are demanding Zelle and the banks take action to stop fraud and help victims get their money back. Seven on your side's Michael Finney has the latest. Yeah, and Michael, the, could this be a turning point really towards stopping this kind of fraud which has just exploded? I, I do think. I think we're going to look back to this moment and say this is when things really began to change. It's the first time federal lawmakers have publicly demanded that Zelle and major banks take responsibility instead of just blaming customers for falling for scams. Senators Elizabeth Warren and Robert Menendez say banks have provided Zelle to customers and now it's become a favorite tool for criminals to steal their customers' money. This is still more victims are coming forward. I just got paid that Friday and then that Saturday all the money's gone. Samantha Bradford's story is all too familiar but no less devastating. And I did not deserve for somebody to scam me because I literally thought it was Wells Fargo protecting me. And they were not. Bank imposters had just tricked her into sending them all her money through Zelle. Then the bank denied her claim. Now a flood of cases like hers has caught the attention of two U.S. senators. Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Robert Menendez of New Jersey fired off this letter to Zelle CEO Al Coe saying Zelle's popularity is putting millions of consumers at risk as fraud flourishes. And banks have chosen to let consumers suffer, blaming them for getting duped. Nah, we're not giving you your money back. Samantha Bradford was in her car when the text arrived, saying Wells Fargo Security, did she make these transactions? I hit no. Then the call, supposedly from Wells Fargo, saying someone was draining her account. And he's telling me to sell the money to myself to protect it. And I say, okay, because I'm believing this is my bank. She transferred every dime in her account, $811 in all, and this receipt said Zell reversal. So it seemed she was getting her money back. She wasn't. Money's gone. Money's gone. The bank denied her claim, saying she had authorized the transaction. And Zell has no fraud protection. For the bank to tell me, nope, your fault, ma'am. It's not my fault, because I thought it was you. The money's gone. It's gone. The scam was hitting others across the country. Wiped my account out. Wow, I have been scammed. Oh, well, your money's gone and we don't protect Zell. Why? The senators are now demanding answers, too. They wrote, the immediacy of money transfers makes Zell a favorite of fraudsters. And alarmingly, both your company and the big banks have abdicated responsibility, leaving consumers no way to get their money back. The senator said, quoting one consumer, it's like the banks have colluded with the sleazebag. They demanded to know how Zelle is rooting out fraud, the number of fraud cases, and why some victims get refunds, but not others. Samantha, a medical assistant, was left penniless. I was just in shock. Like, what do I do from here? Zell's parent company, Early Warning Services, has told us it will respond to the senator's letter in, quote, in due course. That gave us no other response. As for Wells Fargo, it said it will consider each fraud claim individually, and it's now displaying a warning to users, to users, I should say, about this Zelle scam. Now, I want to hear from you. Send me your stories about buying a home, a car, paying off a loan, anything that has to do with you and your money. I want to hear about both your triumphs and frustrations. Go to abc7news.com slash 7 on your side to share them.